Hello, my name is Dr. Tammy Giovanelli, and I am the author of the book, Iceland, Tectonics, Volcanics, and Glacial Features. My name is Richard Ernst, and I was the lead editor of the book, Large Igneous Provinces, a driver of global environmental and biotic changes. My name is Rafael Chimanga. I'm the co-editor of the book, Congo Basin Hydrology, Climate and Biogeochemistry, a foundation for the future. Hi, my name is Rebecca S. Smiley, and I'm the author of the book, Earth Observation Using Python, a Practical Programming Guide. My name is Mike McFadden. I'm one of the editors of the AGU book, El Nino Southern Oscillation in a Changing Climate. The idea for my book came from visiting, researching, and teaching in Iceland for more than a decade. The idea for our book came from some sessions that I helped organize at the Goldschmidt Conference. We were seeing a growing interest in the role of large igneous provinces in dramatic environmental and biotic changes through Earth history. So we thought it would be a good time to coordinate a book on the topic. The idea of our book came from a Chapman conference that we organized on this topic in Washington, D.C in 2018. The idea for this book came from teaching Python coding workshops to other scientists. Uh, through the book, I could cover more detail than I did in my classes and also offer the material to more scientists around the world. The idea for our book came from the realization that there was no comprehensive assessment of El Nino Southern Oscillation dynamics, predictability, and environmental impacts in the context of climate change. My book is for academics and students, but it's also accessible for novice geologists and people visiting Iceland. Our book is accessible to people looking for an introduction to the topic, as well as for established researchers and graduate level students. Our book is for, for scientists interested in the dynamics of large river basins, as well as for non-scientists involved in natural resource management and decision making. I wrote this book for anyone interested in learning the Python language who has just a little coding experience in another language. It's geared towards postdocs and graduate students, but later career scientists can learn too. Our book, El Nino Southern Oscillation in a Changing Climate is targeted towards professionals, researchers, and graduate students. Although some of the chapters will be accessible to people looking for a general introduction to the topic. The most exciting thing about my book is that it presents geological theories, structures, and processes. These attributes come alive when placed in the real context of Iceland. The most exciting thing about our book is that it brings together the latest science on this fast-moving field. It also contributes to a broader goal of integrating magmatic history with environmental changes recorded in sedimentary rocks. The other really exciting thing is that the book is open access which means that everyone has easy access. The most exciting thing about our book is that it features research by more than 100 researchers from Africa, Europe, and America, and it's published in English and French. The most exciting thing about this book is that all the examples are hosted online and they're interactive, so you can work through them while you're reading the book. I wanted this book to be an active learning experience to help both build the reader's knowledge and confidence. The most exciting thing about our book, El Nino Southern Oscillation in a Changing Climate, is how it captures the impressive progress that we've made as a community over the past 20 years on a topic that is highly interdisciplinary and of great societal consequence. Nearly 100 authors from 58 institutions in 16 countries around the world contributed to the writing of this book. The experience of working on this book has reignited my love of writing, and I have already started to work on my next manuscript. The experience of working on this book was a great privilege to work with such a great group of leading researchers to create this wonderful book. Through this book project, I had an incredible opportunity of working with scientists from around the world on a collective effort to advance our understanding of the Congo Basin and address the challenges of resilient development in the region. One thing I've learned um, through this project is that Python changes quite rapidly. Sometimes it can be difficult to keep up with these changes, but um, Python evolves in tandem with research trends, so it only gets more useful with time. The experience of writing this book has reminded me not only of just how far we have come, but how much farther we must go in our understanding of El Nino Southern Oscillation in a changing climate.